Hi, my name is Brett and in this video I want to show you an application called Perfect Learn that I'm currently working on. In this video I will demonstrate the application with several related historical topics to provide you with an overview of using Perfect Learn. Specifically, we'll be using a set of topics related to the Second World War for the purpose of this demonstration. Let us start. Perfect Learn is based on topic maps and according to Wikipedia, topic maps is a standard for the representation and interchange of knowledge with an emphasis on the findability of information. Uh, we will see how this works in practice with Perfect Learn. Right, let's move on to the demonstration of Perfect Learn. The first two features I want to show you are the graph visualization component and the timeline component. The visualization component uses the associations that you've created in Perfect Learn. And just to clarify, an association is the representation of a relationship between two topics. Uh, let's have a look at this visualization component, this graph visualization component. You click here on view visualization, and that will open up the graph visualization component with the current topic in the center. I can zoom in and zoom out. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I only created a handful of topics, uh, so zooming in and zooming out is not that useful. But if you have a topic map with a lot of topic, uh, with a lot of topics, and a lot of associations between those topics, then zooming in and zooming out is very useful. I can also pan around the visualization to have a look, a closer look at other parts of the topic map, and I can also click on any one of these topics to make it the, the current topic within the visualization component so that I can take a closer look at its related topics. Now, uh, you can also use this visualization component not just to, to see the related topics, the context of a given topic, you can also use it to actually navigate around the topic map. So for example, if I want to navigate to the Adolf Hitler topic here, I can do that by means of right clicking on the topic within the visualization component. So there you see, I've been taken to the Adolf Hitler topic. And obviously, uh, I can use, I can here within this topic also click on the view visualization component to see the related topics for this current topic. So Adolf Hitler, I related Adolf Hitler, the Adolf Hitler topic to Mein Kampf, Hitler commits suicide, the Nazi party and Germany. Right. The next thing I want to show you is the timeline component. A timeline is a way of displaying a list of events in chronological order. Adding events to the timeline is done by providing the appropriate information to a topic when the topic is being created or by editing an existing topic. And I want to show you that before I actually show you the timeline component. So let's have a look at the create topic screen. When you create a topic, you provide the topic's name, the identifier, the topic's identifier is automatically derived from that uh, topic name. You provide the topic text, and then you specify if this topic is going to be included in the timeline component or not. By default, topics are not included in the timeline component. You actually have to specify that it's either a timeline event, sorry, or a timeline error. So just click on that. If you do that, then you have to obviously provide the timeline start date, uh, the timeline media URL, and the timeline text. This media URL, the what this means, the relevance of this media URL will become apparent when we're actually looking at the timeline component. And if you want a topic to be a timeline error, you just click here, and then apart from the start date, you also have to provide the end date. So let's have a look at the actual component, the, the timeline component itself. You just click here and view timeline and that will open up the timeline component. I can navigate through the timeline by means of these buttons here, next and previous. I can also just drag around this timeline component here and click on any one of these timeline events to, to jump straight to that event within the timeline component. But let's just go back to the beginning of the timeline and start navigating through it so that you get a good feel of what the timeline component is capable of. Here, for example, you can see the media URL that I specified for this timeline event is a YouTube video, and I can play this YouTube video directly within the timeline component. I don't have to go to YouTube to, to reproduce to play this video. So let's just take a look. Shortly before 6 a.m. on Friday, September the 1st, 1939, German forces crossed the border into Poland after a huge aerial and land bombardment. 
the force and speed of the invasion shook the world and gave the dictionaries a new and terrifying word, Blitzkrieg. There you go. Let's just carry on navigating around the timeline here, for example. Just close some of these. Here, for example, you can see that I have uh, used for the media URL instead of a YouTube or Vimeo video, I've actually uh, used a Wikipedia URL and I can click on that and it would just open up in a another tab. It would open up the actual Wikipedia article that I've specified for that event. Let's just carry on navigating. Like I said, I can go back and forth and click on any one of these to just make that the current timeline event. And here we go. And then finally, this one. This is a Flickr image. So if I click on that, it should just display the Flickr image for you. So just showing that the timeline um, component is very flexible in terms of what media you want it to display in the event itself. Another important thing that uh, I need to show you with regards to the timeline component is that each of these are topics in themselves. So I can click on this and it will actually, the application will actually navigate to that topic within Perfect Learn. So let's just do that. So now I'm in the Hitler commit suicide topic. And as an example, I can now click on the view visualization here and see what topics this topic is related to. Obviously it's related to the Adolf Hitler topic. Yeah, right. Then the final thing I want to show you is the semantic web integration. Perfect Learn is capable of pulling in, automatically pulling in semantically related resources for the current topic. So let's have a look at that. Just go to web queries and to view, and you'll see that it's automatically pulled in for this topic, the Second World War. It's pulled in these articles from Wikipedia and made them available to you. Um, for you for, for you to, to take a look at. So I can just click on any one of these previews. It will show me the preview. And then if I want to, I can just click through and see the actual Wikipedia article itself. Yeah. Likewise for videos, I just click on the videos tab here and it will go to YouTube and pull in related videos for this current topic. And I can click on those and just and just take a look at the video itself and finally let's have a look at images and let's have a look at the images it retrieves for this topic and i can just click on any one of these images and see the larger image and the next and the previous one Right, that's the semantic web services. A couple of other things I just want to show you. Let's go back to the Second World War topic. Um, you can add notes, as many notes as you want to a given topic. You can also add files to a topic. Those topic, uh, sorry, those files can be images or attachments. Obviously, if they're images, you can you can view them, and just like. With the Flickr images, you can just scroll through and see them. Attachments, in this case, it's a PDF. Have a look at the PDF. There you go. Uh, links, I can add links, both video links and normal links. And if I click on them, obviously, I'll be taken to that web page. Right. So that was a very quick and brief overview of Perfect Learn. Uh, in summary, Perfect Learn is about creating topics, attaching resources in the form of text, images, files of any file type, and links to those topics in combination with establishing meaningful relationships in the form of associations between topics. And it is these relationships that make it very easy to navigate your documented knowledge, both textually and visually. Finally, as we have seen, the topics are automatically complemented with related resources by means of several semantic web services. 
If you like what you've seen in this video, go to perfectlearn.com and sign up to the Perfect Learn newsletter to stay up to date with Perfect Learn's development. Hit the like button below the video, leave a comment with your suggestions or questions, and finally go to the Perfect Learn YouTube channel for more videos related to Perfect Learn. The link to the Perfect Learn YouTube channel will be shown at the end of this video. Anyway, thank you very much for taking time to watch this video. Goodbye.